A group of hair braiders in Gretna is taking the Louisiana Cosmetology Board to court. Well, listen to this. They are backed by a national law firm, and they say that they are suing that board because it's impossible for them to make an honest living. Now, those braiders are making progress and are celebrating a big win so far in court. Nikki Davidson caught up with them recently right in their shop. In this Gretna salon, there isn't a smell of chemicals, the clipping of scissors, or even hair on the floor. At AfroTouch, it's just the movement of fingers, muscle memory from when these braiders were just kids in Africa. Watching this basically from birth <laughs> and looking at our aunts and our mother's braid. But in this once busy salon, most chairs sit empty. I barely have any stylists. A Ralph patch that inspired Ashley in Dak Priest's Halloween costume this season. Because I feel like a prisoner in my own field. A couple of years ago, the state cosmetology board announced a new permit for hair braiders. They needed a license just like hairstylists or 500 hours of training. The inspectors started visiting salons with tickets and fines and the braiders disappeared. People are not trying to get caught here and getting fined. Ashley and her cousin Daisy don't meet the requirements either. They've been fined but chose to stay at their family business and fight. I don't see why we have to go through the process of learning how to relax hair and color hair when we're not going to ever use it. And while they're here, so is Danjanique Moliere, a friend who just graduated beauty school and is legally permitted to braid, but came to AfroTouch to learn because none of this was covered in class. I didn't even learn the things that they are doing in cosmetology school that I paid $20,000 for and did my 500 hours. So it just, it makes no sense. The national law firm Institute for Justice is backing the braiders in court, saying that the permit isn't constitutional. Louisiana has the most burdensome specialty braiding license, um, and we would like to put Louisiana in line with all of its neighboring states, Texas, Arkansas, and Mississippi, where hair braiders can work for free and where it's um, braiding businesses thrive in minority and immigrant communities. The cosmetology board asked a judge in Baton Rouge to throw out a lawsuit filed by LJ and the braiders. The judge rejected that request and the case is moving forward. We're just wishing for the best. One small step that might fill up these chairs again someday soon. In Gretna, Nikki Davidson, Eyewitness News. Now the state cosmetology board did not respond to our request for comment on this case, but the Braiders lawyer do hope that a judge will make a decision to throw out the permits within the year. All right.